Kobe just sat down. He's like, okay. He's like, I got your next, you know, your next product. And he goes, I want my shoe to be the lowest, lightest weight basketball shoe ever. It's always about an evolution for me. The one question I had is, can we go to a lower cut shoe but still not lose the cushion that I like to have? He challenges us all the time. And he's really into the overall design process, both from a performance and aesthetic point of view. You know, I just have all of these ideas in my head of, you know, things that, that we can utilize to, to help me be a better basketball player. And so it, it all starts from there. Some of the advantages of a low top basketball shoe primarily um, is mobility and range of motion. And a low top um, just gets all that material out of the way. We looked at some existing research around uh, low top basketball shoes and specifically looking at the biomechanics of um, some of the movements within the game of basketball and use that as a reference point, a starting point to kind of prove Kobe's theory that you don't really need all this material around your ankle. With the Kobe 4, we went lower in terms of that midsole height, and with the 5, the heel is one millimeter lower, but otherwise it's the same. Once we kind of broke the barrier of saying, you know, wearing a low-cut shoe, it's okay. You know, you're not going to get hurt because you're in a low-cut shoe. Uh, I think once we broke down that barrier, uh, I think everybody else was more accepted, you know, accepted it more. Weight is important. I think every ounce, every slight performance advantage that an athlete could get within their sport um, makes makes a difference. Every time you're running, every time you're cutting, and you have to sort of move these these appendages around with extra mass on the end, it, it takes a toll. It's not the kind of thing you might come in and measure instantly in the store or in the lab that you put on a light shoe and you're better. But in the fourth quarter, after all those steps and all those weight savings sort of add up, a little bit more gas in the tank. It just can't be lightweight at any cost. It has to give you that sense of protection, impact protection, and that's all captured in a lightweight phylon midsole to be low to the ground, but um, give you the excellent cushioning where you need. The lighter the shoe, the less resistance you have. You know, the quicker you are off the floor, the quicker you are to change directions, and so forth and so on. So, the lighter the better. So this is actually the Kobe upper with uh, the new flywire construction. Um, so in working with Matt Nurse in Nike Sports Research Lab, uh, we engineered the exact locations of where we really needed to put these fibers to create the most uh, stability and lockdown that we could. What you want is that to come completely around you. And that's why these, these cables sort of try and get around and under the foot and the, the reason we sculpted the arch so that you do get that, that containment, that, that absolute lockdown. Uh, around the foot. But as you can see, it's all done in a very minimal, very lightweight package. So this, in essence, is the Kobe shoe um, upper. Soccer's done a lot of great work with external molded heel counters that really create kind of a one-to-one -one fit. Some of the stability is accomplished by bringing up the foot frame to make sure that the heel is locked down um, into the footbed and then also the external counter to really make sure that your foot is not sliding around on the footbed. I think it was in the same meeting when he uh, threw out this challenge of the lowest, lightest weight basketball shoe. He's like, I want to give the shoe some inspiration, some personality. Um, and it, it was about heart. And what Kobe meant about heart was will to be the best that he can be and to win. We actually took um, an EKG kind of printout. It was very similar to a typical herringbone pattern, which we use in basketball all the time. We designed it in such a way that we reduced a lot of rubber, so it reduced weight and provided excellent traction. We put in two zoom bags, one um, thicker one in the heel and then a little lower profile under the first met head, kind of the two key areas, peak pressure points that a basketball player will have during the course of a game. We developed this code specific to um, Kobe. Um, it's so complicated and um, secretive, I don't even understand it. So there are these unique dot pattern on the sidewall, the outsole, and I'll reveal it here, but uh, actually says heart. Uh, so that's part of the inspiration back to Kobe. You have different characteristics from my personality. It's, it's uh, you have the, here, I don't know if you can see it, but you have the, the shark fence here. If you look at a horse, for example, I always was a, I always admired horses when they run. They look so beautiful when they run. 
you can see the, the different striations you know, and muscles that they run. So the kind of effect that we get from here is you see the, the kind of lacing system that takes place underneath the shoe. It's kind of like that muscular kind of feel that you get when you look at a horse run. Um, kind of hand craftsmanship that you see here, kind of Sistine Chapel kind of look, um, which kind of gives like a home, uh, like a like a handmade feel to it. That's how I approach my game. Like it's like craftsmanship to me. It's like my art, you know. So those are all things that are part of my personality that that make up the shoe. That's what the shoe's about. Is is having a shoe that's true to you. And so when you look at it, it's you know, yeah, it's if I was to be a shoe, that's the shoe I would be. <laughs>